Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. On today's segment of Beauty Darlings, I'm going to be sharing with you my favorite four red lipsticks that are near and dear to my heart that I always keep going back to. So if you're interested, keep watching. All right, so first up of my favorite red lipsticks, we're gonna go with my A number one, holds me down no matter what, long wearing, even after having a full dinner, one and everything. And that's gonna be Stila's Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. And it promises to do that, like legit. It does it. So, I already have my full face of makeup on. And what we're gonna do is just already moisturize and prime your lips. But I'm going to first swatch this for you guys. So you can see on my hand um, what the color looks like and then I'll put it on myself. So the Stila swatches, it looks like this. It's a very um, true red, gives you that old school Hollywood glamour and I love that it doesn't flake like some liquid lipsticks. Um, so that's the swatch and like I said we already moisturized and primed so we're going to put it on and so I can show you guys. Like I said, um, this is going to last all day throughout your night out. So this is what I'm going to definitely reach for when I have long days um, shooting or if I have an event. I'm going to reach for this Stila. It's beautiful. I always get complimented on this. And the price range isn't bad. Um, of all the lipsticks, I think this is the most expensive at $22. And even at that price, this is going to last you a long time because you only use a little, um, little bit of product to put a thin layer on and it gives you a good um, pigmented look. So that's that one. Okay, so my second favorite red lippy is by a company that I actually found um, from a girl on Instagram. It's called Pretty Zombie Cosmetics, and their red, classic red, is called Zombetty, which is kind of cute if you're into zombies and stuff. Um, but this one has more of a burgundy kind of tone, and I like this one when when I'm out of the <laughs> Stila, because that's one I really go to, but this one still gives you that ultra old school Hollywood glam, but I just think it's a little more um, appropriate like for fall weather, like fall fashion and like a fall makeup look, just because it has a little bit of a warmer tone. So I'll swatch this for you guys to see. And you can tell the difference um, between this one and this is the Stila and this is Zombetti. So it's definitely um, darker, it has more blue in this red and it's, it's just as pretty, but it just gives you a little bit of a different look. So I'm gonna put that on. Mm. This one smells good too. oxidize which basically means when the product hits oxygen hits the air it might become a little bit darker so when you swatch um, lippies at a department store or Sephora or wherever make sure you give it enough time to dry to truly see what the color is so even though it came out kind of rich when it dries matte I just love this one girl mm. <laughs> problem with <laughs> as it dries make sure it's not on your teeth because that's the worst when you have like a snaggle tooth and it's like covered in red lipstick and then there's your crush and you're like hey red lipstick on your teeth oh, oh and that's another thing make sure you tell your friends if they have lipstick on their teeth because that's a true friend you're the real mvp 
The one who tells me if I have a bear at my nose in the cave. Is that it? Bear in the cave. A bat in the cave. <laughs> a bat in the cave? <laughs> Is it? I don't know. Boogers. <laughs> Or if you have lipstick on your teeth, that is like what friends are for. Okay, so anyway, this is Zombetti by Pretty Zombie Cosmetics. Coming in at number three is by MAC and it's their liquid lipstick. I'm a sucker for these. I collect them all the time, but they're, they're recently new, I guess about a year ago. And of course I had to try it out. So this is their retro matte liquid lip color called Feel So Grand. And I do like this one because of the applicator too. It is like kind of pointed so you can get into your cupid's bow really well and get into the corners. And this one is going to be also a true red. Um, I'll swatch that so you guys can see. Let's see, I'll put it over here. So this one right here would be the MAC Feel So Grand in comparison to the Stila. I don't think I told you what the Stila was called. That's called Beso, like kisses. I forgot to tell you guys that, which is kind of important to watch this video, but I'll link everything down below. Um, and then also compared to the Zombetti. Okay, so we're gonna apply this one on. <laughs> so grand I like this one too a lot <laughs> so last but not least is a old-school lipstick like not a liquid lipstick and this is by L'Oreal and this is by the like their celebrity collections that they have um, each celebrity has like a particular um, shade of red or pink or nude um, so this is the red collection and this is Blake Lively's red um, number 402 so with this one I typically do line my lips with a red um, with a red lip pencil however mine I thought I sharpened it and I didn't so <laughs> but I typically use um, um, Kylie's Mary Jo K um, pencil and this is oh gosh you see it, what happened there <laughs> anyway this one is like the only pencil I hate to say it because like it's actually pretty good <laughs> um, and I have dark lips so it's really hard for me to find a lip pencil that is highly pigmented and it can really show um, and this one actually works so I keep buying it and that's all the money I'm going to give to the Kardashian empire is <laughs> through their lip pencils. <laughs> but I typically align my lips with that. Let's see if I can do it. Let's see. It's kind of almost like wearing like a lip color by itself. But it gives a nice base before you put your red lipstick on. So now we're gonna apply the lipstick. <laughs> okay, so this one is obviously a creamier um, sheen um, kind of formula, which I do like. Um, the only thing with this one that I do have some reservations is that I do constantly have to check if I have lipstick on my teeth just because with the matte once it's dried it stays on it stays there but um with this one this you are going to have to reapply but for a lipstick it's only about eight dollars you can't beat it it's a nice um retro true like blue tone red which is going to help you create that old school Hollywood glam look and I will swatch that for you guys I forgot to swatch that oh, yeah. so this 
So the very first one will be L'Oreal's Blake's Red, number 402. All right, guys, so here's the final look. I'm wearing the Blake's Red, number 402 by L'Oreal, and I, I've shown you everything that I know. These are my top four, even though I do have a lot more red lipsticks, these are the ones that I continually will always restock and buy. So I hope you guys like this video, and if you do, please give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget, stay lovely.